I need to seek a dragon somewhere in the vicinity of the City of Apes in the area called Adventures of Cyndia. I think it would be very wise to get an invisibility potion before I go and quite a few heals. As I am now level 30, I have more options open to me when it comes to healing potions. Typing pot search in Viz shows us that I need the clear elixir from Canyon. I can also use a blue pill. Having a look inside my luggage, I can see that I don't have either of those items in there. Typing list here, we can see that at level 20, I can use serious relief. Typing appraise 4 shows that this item has two uses of a level 20 cure serious spell. I'm going to be buying a few of these. 20 should do it. Typing Run to Canyon will take us right across the waters and into Galitas. Here we are. The shop is just over to the west. Typing list here shows that the blue pill is number one. And the clear elixir is number two. Now the elixir actually has invis and detect invis. However, I do have the Helm of True Sight, so I don't need to be able to detect Invis, as that comes part and parcel with the Helm. So, I'm just going to purchase a blue pill, as a level 25 spell of Invis will last longer than a level 14 spell. While I'm here, I think I'll buy a few of these pills. What the heck, 20 of these will do too. Alright then, let's go back to Recall and QI shows that, yes, we need to go to Cyndia. Now, Cyndia is actually in an area called Vidblain, so first of all, we need to run to Vidblain. When entering the continent of Vidblain, our entry point is completely random. And this particular time, it lands me within a couple of squares of the blue star. There we go, east and north takes me right there. Typing enter Moonrift takes us into the area itself. With potions, you quaff or drink a potion. With a pill, you simply eat it. There we go, and now I have faded out of existence, and I have invisibility set for 18 minutes. This should be more than enough time to get me to my quest target. Now the City of the Apes is actually buried quite far into this area, so we have to go through quite a few of the sub-areas or levels before we get there. Fantastic! The Lotus Eaters aren't actually aggroing me. The last time I was in here, they pretty much all attacked, so the Invisibility Pill is doing its job. Alright, up through the Caverns of the Dead and onto the Island of the Rocks. We're getting there. Now these sharks normally attack as well and I think the octopus does too. But this time we're getting through without any problems. Every time we see the word other in the exits line, if you can't remember what exit it is you need to take, just type exits. Ah, this one is called Catch Ride. Typing Catch Ride takes us into the next section of this area and this would appear to be the section that we need as there is a female ape here. And she's picking lice from her chest. Well, at least she's cleaning. Alright. Typing Quest Info shows that we need the dragon. Now it looks like every room is actually called City of the Apes. So if I just go up this middle section here and type scan dragon, I should hopefully be able to find it. Unless of course it is no scan. Wow, 
All right then. There is quite possibly more to this part of the area than I've realised because I've just been to every room in this little section and there is no dragon. There is a custom exit from this room but that will take us into another subsection so I won't go through that just at this point in time. Alright, time to stop wandering around and going back into the same rooms I've already been into and time to have a look at a map. You know, sometimes bumping directions will let you know if there is a hidden door but that would appear to not be the case so far. Alrighty, let's load up the Ard Wiki. And here we are on the Ard Wiki. Let's click on areas in the menu on the left to take us to a listing of all the areas. Now we just need to click on the S at the top and that will take us to all the areas beginning with S. Ah, no, the area is called Adventures in Sandia. So if we just click on back to top, we will find the area in the top section. Here we go, Adventures in Sandia by Lamina. Now we only have one map listed on the wiki, so let's click on that, the Guardian's text searchable map. Right, I'll just scroll through. In the middle of the screen here we have the sub area City of the Apes and there is a closed door in one of the north rooms. Let's go back there and go through that door. All right. Let's go back up and yes, here it is. Now looking at the exit sign, we don't see that there is a door in this room. Let's have a look at the description. The last sentence in this room description says, this is even made worse by a level of heat coming from the wall to the west. Trying to move in the west direction returns the message, the door is closed. Let's open west. Ah, here we go. We have now three more rooms we can go explore. And here in the third room is the dragon we were looking for. Wow, that was a little bit tricky there, wasn't it? Thankfully, we had a map we could refer to to give us a little help along the way. The other option would have been to actually read all the room descriptions. Fantastic, we've killed both of the mobs in this room. Alrighty then, that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Let's go back to Questa and let him know that we're done.